And joining me live from Ikiti State to talk more on the election is the governorship candidate for the Accord Party, Ruben Famuyibo. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Um, you defected from the APC to Accord Party and um, you, 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 you cited issues around imposition in the APC as your reason for defecting to Accord Party where you emerged the um, gubernatorial candidates of that party. In your acceptance speech, um, you, you, you made a statement that, that people think was quite interesting. You said you were here to rescue Ekiti from the hands of foreigners. I just want to understand what you meant by that. Well, I was classified them as foreigners in the sense that uh, we conceptualize Ekiti states to be a, a state, a modern state in Nigeria. We conceptualize the idea that our development should be based on the little resources we can tap around. I classify these people because they would never suffered for Ikiti State. They never knew why, what our forefathers put together to have Ikiti State. It's on record that I, Ruben Famu Ibo, led all Ikiti Obas to the military men then. It was Major General Adisa that led us to the people, to people like Leti Nyenga, people like uh, Major uh, Lef, uh, General Abacha, when he was still the defense minister. But suddenly, when they created the state, some foreigners started coming without even knowing, and some of them never schooled in Ekiti. And besides that, they never knew what the forefathers put together, how the blueprint for the creation of Ekiti state. I know what we thought that would be our basis. But at the end of the day, they came from nowhere because they have some little connections here and there, and they now package Ekiti for themselves. So ever since, it had been an era of foreigners. When I say foreigners, quote and unquote, I mean Ekitis that are not ordinary residents here, that don't even know what Ekiti, all they are interested in is just to come around. Some of them in the past, they, they were unable to tell us the next town after Ekere Ekiti. How will you know development? We cannot even go to the towns and villages to know what and what. How we know development when you don't even know the raw materials, what and what can yield money for Ekiti State without necessarily going to Abuja, capping and begging. Then secondly, my living in the APC doesn't mean that I didn't believe in it, but when it comes to a situation where a political party, our governors, with the handpicking candidates, I'm thinking that other people are not relevant. What do we do? In a situation where I Ekiti, do Ekiti region that controls over 50% of the vote, 40, close to 30% of the votes, because there is nobody can become a governor in Ekiti State without taking the votes of Adwekiti. I did not think that Adwekiti indigene is not ripe enough to become governor after 25 years. We have now said all the indigenes of Adwekiti are now resolved that Otoge, our local, especially Ruben Famu Ibo, Emi local. Thank you very much. You, you say that you are you have been part of the struggle for, um, if I may use the word, the survival of Ikiti. Does, does, that, is that, does that give you an edge over others in, in terms of um, taking the, becoming the governor of that state? And in your own opinion, being part of the struggle, um, what do you think is the biggest problem or the challenge that faces Ikiti today? And what's your plan um, to solve it or resolve it? Thank you very much. There are series of, we just have series of problems facing Ekiti State. But I based my own developmental plan on just seven. One, security. Without security, you cannot do nothing. After security, we cannot face agriculture. Because 40% of what we can use to grow in Ekiti State is based on agriculture. Then look at our tourism. Look at our go see one, one spring. Look at the coastal line in Ekiti, running to thousands of kilometers. What are they doing about it? Look at our education. Our education needs to start overhauling. You see students roaming about the streets. The teachers are dejected. They are not paid their salaries. How can we have teachers getting out their best when they are not well paid, when their future is not guaranteed? I have got to the roads. The roads are the worst we can think about in the country. Our roads are terrible. How do you bring the products from the farms? How do you now encourage the farmers to bring whatever they have produced out of the farms to the, to the town? All I'm planning on agriculture is that we go back to the way we did it during our lower time, where we have the, the kind of board, we have the birds, where 
farmers will come and they will go to their local government headquarters and their products can be bought by the grain uh, birds, then they will not be uh, sold outside on their behalf. When the roads are okay, already now our farmers are deserted. They have deserted the farms. No farmer is there now. They go there. When they go there, they are killed. That's why I said security is linked to all these developments. Mm. Do you believe that as of today, there is no single, there is no single industry in a Kitty state? And we are saying that we are the fountain of knowledge. What about knowledge? We are 80% of our graduates are now Okada riders. What is going on? We got it wrong from the beginning. Yes, some of people, some people are even regretting why should we keep the state live on those states? Because we thought that we are people that actually develop bigger on those states. Why should it not be us that we are now for Kada riders? All these things will be addressed, especially industrialization. I think it's so serious. And even the wellness of the people. If you go around the streets of Adrake, it is the dirtiest in the country now. These are very expensive. Our, our pensioners are not being paid. Our gratuities are not being paid. What is going on? Are we a cost state? It's because all these people, they don't have any link. They leave the state, tomorrow they are off from Iquiti and off to Lagos or Abuja. Yeah. I'll be part of this struggle. Mr. Ruben. I actually, actually. Mr. Yes, Ruben so. Famuyi, but we, we hope that your plans um, are big enough to get you elected. We hope that it, they, they um, get into the heart of the Iquiti people and get you elected. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, governorship candidate of our court party, Ruben Famuyi. Thank you very much.